So the biggest complaint I get in FPV is just how expensive it is. I mean, between a goggles, radio, uh, a decently built drone or a ready to fly, uh, you're looking at anywhere from about five to six, maybe even more dollars to get your first setup. Um, and it's quite expensive. So what we're gonna be looking at today is, I, this caught my eye on Banggood and they were awesome enough to send this over to me to take a look at, is the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 comes with goggles and comes with a controller. So you have pretty much everything and everything is already actually set up basically in this setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over the bench. We're going to kind of go over all the little specs and the setup process. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a flight and I'll give you guys my thoughts of if this bundle is actually worth your time and your investment. So let's go ahead and uh, get over to the bench and uh, get on with the video. All right, so what you get in the Emacs Tiny Hawk bundle is this awesome little carrying case to carry everything that the drone comes with, the goggles and everything. So let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, I've been using it a little bit, so it's a little bit disorganized. But let me put this back. So you get the drone itself, the little Tiny Hawk 2. And we'll go over that in greater detail in a moment. You also go ahead and get this little charger here to charge the both batteries that it comes with. Uh, if you're questioning if you can charge both of them together, you can. Uh, just they already thought of that on this, so you don't have to worry about you know not mixing 2S and 1S batteries together. Uh, but if you're, I would definitely recommend um, if you're going to be um, buying another charger, go ahead and upgrade because I wouldn't use this thing. It takes a little long to charge. And uh, so we also get the remote. This is the little remote it comes with. It does do its purpose, has a little antenna, has two switches here where you can do your flight modes. This one is the arm, and I believe uh, one other one is already set to do, I think, uh, maybe it's flip over after crash, maybe, I think. I don't remember. Uh, but, yeah, so you got these two here, your little sticks, and then your little trim switches. Everything's set up in beta flight already, so you're good to go. You don't have to worry about setting switches up or anything. And then also we got these goggles right here. So... Oh, and then it also comes with the batteries, right here, and the battery for the goggles, and a charger, which I believe is somewhere. But yeah, that's everything it comes with. So it comes with quite a bit for 180 bucks, quite a bit. Uh, let me go ahead and power on these goggles, so you can kind of get a better idea of what the picture quality is of. I'm gonna go ahead and power on the quad. So that's pretty much the image right there. It's not the best image you can ever see, but that's as best I can do since the DVR footage is going to be recorded off my Fat Shark goggles. Um, and it actually has a little more color than you can see probably in my camera. Uh, it's a little unsaturated, but it should serve its purpose, like I said. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, shut these off and kind of go over the features of the goggles. Uh, but right here on the side, we have our uh, mode. This is our menu. Then we also have an auto scan feature. Uh, we do have uh, frequency and channel to change those buttons right on top. And then we just ha do have diversity receivers. I have not tested to see how tr if this is true to diversity or not. Um, it does have a built-in fan too. So that's really awesome to not have the fog when it's really, really hot out. But that helps a little bit. And then it is protected in the front by um, this little foam that's right here. Uh, now the resolution of the goggles is 480 by 272, which is not very impressive. Uh, so don't expect to be looking at HD video if you're looking through this. Uh, and it does run on, I believe this is a 1S LiPo. All right, so going over the specifications of the Tiny Hawk 2, uh, we have its actual weight is 31 grams without a battery. Uh, we are running THO802 16,000 kV motors. So this is a 1S and a 2S quad as well. Um, do keep in mind if you're running this on 2S, you do have to change the PID profile in the OSD before you take off. Uh, it also is running the uh, Tiny Hawk Freestyles uh, flight controller that we have here in the bottom. Um, it does have a run cam at Nano 2. Uh, it is an F4 processor and also a 401 5 amp ESC. Uh, Batteries, like I said, it does like run 1 to 2S LiPos, which is really awesome. Um, and it does have a, a 200 milliwatt uh, adjustable smart audio enabled VTX, which is really awesome. 
So let's go ahead and go outside and uh, give it a rip. All right, so we're gonna take out the Tiny Hawk for a spin on 1S and 2S. And I'm gonna be grilling myself some food. It's gonna look good. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and sit down and see how they do. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Wow. I don't know if it's like this controller, it feels really stiff. You know, the, the quad's locked in, it's just the controller I think I'm having some problems with it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fast on 2S. Definitely is. And it's like excellent little, you know, like yard basher, you know, or in the house. This quad is pretty much, you know, a little fun little toy for when you can't go to the, uh, oh, I almost crashed into that thing. Uh, you know, when you're not, uh, Five, flying your five inches or away from the house in a bigger space to fly. Wow, I just did a power loop. So, that's impressive. Oh yeah. Now I put it in rate mode. I'm not going to fly in angle mode or anything. So we can really t push the performance of this thing, see how it does. Having some trouble a little bit with the controller. Quad flies pretty good. I just need to get really used to this controller. But I think if with enough practice, the controller, you probably will get used to it and learn its quirks. Um, but like I said, we can always uh, change out. So my verdict on the Tiny Hawk 2 bundle. Now, if you are a beginner getting into this hobby, this will definitely be something I would probably consider. You do get a really nicely built drone. These Emacs Tiny Hawk 2s are actually quite durable and they are awesome for inside the house. Um, you can fly this on 2S outside, but I did find 2S a little jerky. I did change because there is two profiles you have to make sure that you remember. If you're running this on 1S, uh, you have to be on profile one. And if you're on uh, 2S, you have to be on profile two. Uh, so. Keep that in mind when you're doing this because the PIDs are actually different and it can actually cause, uh, if you run this on the 1S PIDs, it can cause this thing to kind of just take off on you and have no control. So just be careful of which one you're on. Um, the quad, like I said, is solidly built. Um, I do like the improvements they made to the Tiny Hawk 2 over the actual original. I actually did have a Tiny Hawk 1. Um, never did actual review on it just because I was kind of late to the game and just decided, you know what, I'm not even going to bother doing a review on it. So I actually got rid of it, and then uh, so now we have the Tiny Hawk 2 here. Um, it does have it does lack a little bit in power on 1S, uh, especially um, you can't really do the, any flips or rolls on 1S at all. Actually, uh, 2S you can, um, but it does have, suffer from a little bit of um, a little bit of a weight issue. It is a little heavy, uh, considering that it is in the little class, the micro class, as this is. Um, but it is a solid, has a solid camera on it, solid VTX. Um, so it is definitely something awesome to start off with in this hobby. And then once you're done with it, um, well done with the goggles and start want to upgrade, you can keep this drone, get yourself like a free sky radio. And then you can also upgrade to some better goggles and have a nice little quad. You don't have to worry about getting rid of because it's doesn't work with your other new equipment or a more updated equipment. Um, now, moving over to like the charger and stuff, I mean, it's it, it works. I mean, that's as much as I can say about it. It works. It's if you're charging batteries, literally maybe in three hours, it takes to charge those two packs, which really kind of stinks. And you can connect both of them to the same board. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, like parallel charging where you have to have, you know, 2S and 1S separate. This board here uh, lets you have both 1S and 2S plugged in at the same time and it knows. Um, so that's really, really awesome to have. Um, now moving over to the goggles here, um, this is kind of my biggest, biggest letdown. 
That's because they hurt my eyes a little bit when I was flying with them. They, my eyes were, I mean, I'm flying about 10 to 15 minutes with them and then I get a lot of eye strain. I actually noticed it almost immediately. Um, I do wear glasses. So if you don't wear glasses, maybe you won't have that problem. Um, but I am farsighted. So um, you might have the same problem too. So just keep that in mind with the goggles, but they do work. And the, the picture is actually awesome on it. I can see everything great. Um, you might have, uh, you know, some issues kind of adjusting it on your face because I felt like the bottom of the screen was kind of out of view a little bit, how I had it sitting on my face. Um, but it is a good little goggle. It does not have DVR. So um, on my DVR footage I showed you guys before, that was actually using my Fat Sharks. So don't keep your hopes up if you think that this has DVR. It actually does not. Um, so we have that. And then um, let me go ahead and the controller. The controller, you know, it's nothing to really brag about at all either. Um, it's a controller. It works. It feels a lot like a like Xbox or a PlayStation 4 controller, the gimbal wise, um, but a little more cheaper. Like if you remember those like Nyko uh, controllers, like the knocked off knockoff controllers from, you know, back in the N64 days or, you know, Sega Genesis, the, how those Nikos were like kind of crappy. You didn't really even want to use those. That's kind of like what this controller is compared to an Xbox controller. Um, it's like really just clicky. If you can hear it, it's just, ugh. but it does work. So if you are getting into the hobby and, um, you know, trying to save some money to at least get in the air, then this does work. Um, just don't plan on like going to anything professional or any racing or anything like, you know, too crazy. I would not take this thing out, uh, freestyling where there's a chance you can lose your quad. I would not use it just because the range isn't that great, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. And, um, so my thoughts pretty much on the, on the entire setup, it's, it's really awesome. Uh, honestly, for the price, I wish this thing was around when I started because I probably would have started with this and, uh, not have to waste a whole bunch of money on goggles that just didn't work or they just sucked. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the goggles here. Um, oh, and, um, so another thing here, uh, regarding ease of use, that is number one, the, probably the best thing about these goggles is literally it comes with this little pamphlet here. And you pretty much just got to set it up. I mean, you don't really have to, all you have to do is charge your batteries up, turn the drone on and flick the little switch here. And it has like a little timer. It's like five seconds and then it arms the quad and it's, it takes off and you're able to mess around with it. And then you can, and everything's already mapped to the controller. So that's, that's really awesome. But um, I'm going to go ahead and down below, I'm going to leave a couple of fillet links down below uh, to this bundle. Um, they, like I said, they are affiliate links, so they do help support the channel and help support me. Uh, so I would appreciate you guys if you did use those. Um, even if you didn't want to purchase this and wanted to purchase something else on the site, uh, just use my link and then make your purchase of whatever. And I still do get credit for your purchase. Um, but this is Viper FPV and, um, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.